Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. And as I was going through the internet, I happened to come across this. Coming from Fox Business, Capitalism vs. Socialism, billionaire entrepreneur Mark Lore wants to build nation's first woke city. Lore last week unveiled plans for his utopia called Telosa from the ancient Greek word telos, meaning higher purpose. Wow, that's pretty, uh, it's pretty interesting to see <laughs> this happening. All right, let's see. Former Walmart executive and e-commerce billionaire Mark Lore wants to build the world's first woke city from scratch somewhere in the U.S. Lore last week unveiled plans for his utopia called Telosa from the ancient Greek word telos, meaning highest purpose. <sighs> wow. The mission of Telosa is to create a more equitable, sustainable future. That's our North Star, Lore said in a promotional video. We're going to be the most open, the most fair, and the most inclusive city in the world. <laughs> I am, um, wonder how he plans to do that. Key to the city's plan is Lore's economic vision called Equitism, in which the land upon which the city is built would be donated to a community endowment. Okay, well, first of all, I had to look this shit up because I was like, what the fuck is equitism? So equitism is the economic and political system grounded in community ownership, balancing system tensions, fair play, and intersecting worlds. Now, this here is coming from the Urban Dictionary. Equitism is a desperately needed socioeconomic system in which the workforce environment distributes gains within reason between the employee's wages and management's compensation. This system may also be used in the government to a more democratic rule of all people considered equal. The new generation are disillusioned with the system of capitalism which squeezes maximum profit from employees as opposed to equitism which matches compensation between corporations and those that help build them. So that is basically what Mark Lore is trying to build is basically a city with a system that everything is ran and distributed equally. So it says the residents in turn own their own homes on the land and are enriched as home values increase according to the project sites and after a period of hyper growth residents can buy the land from the community endowment if you went into a desert where the land was worth nothing or very little you can create a foundation that owned the land and people moved there and tax dollars built infrastructure and we built one of the greatest cities in the world the foundation could be worth a trillion dollars lord told bloomberg business week Wow. So he's planning to build a woke city and he's telling you exactly how he plans to do it. And if the foundation's mission was to take the appreciation of the land and give it back to the citizens in the form of medicine, education, affordable housing, social services. Wow. That's it. Hmm. You know, I'll be honest. I can admire the guy's um, enthusiastic uh, take on this but to be real this sounds too much like a pie in the sky and you got to wonder what do you what do you really have to give up in order to get this like what's really in stake is it really that you'll be owning all your own land and you'll be owning your own houses and this and that he's talking about uh tax dollars you know it's going to be built on that's the thing. Um, sounds like a lot of money's involved when you're trying to build your own city. But let's see how far this guy goes in this conversation. The city is meant to take on what Lore views as the United States' biggest challenge, the rapidly growing wealth gap, which he said is going to bring down America. While the current economic system is a growth engine, it has led to increasing inequality. The project's website explains equitism is inclusive growth. So for y'all that don't know, this is Mark Lore. And 
this is the city that he plans to build right here look at that what do you guys think Shit kind of reminds me of like Night City and fucking Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> the initial phase of the project targeted for completion by 2030. So basically in nine years, this thing's going to be up. And it would be built to accommodate 50,000 residents across roughly 1,500 acres. At the cost of $25 billion, Business Week reported... Over 40 years, the city will eventually require $400 billion in funding and grow to house as many as 5 million people across 150,000 acres, the site says. That's a lot of fucking money. How do you plan to get another $375 billion over a 40-year span to keep growing this city and to make it run and do everything that it's supposed to do, to me it sounds like a pie in the sky and I'm sorry y'all, just being real. The project's planner have yet to commit to a location, but the website identifies Nevada, Utah, Idaho, Arizona, Texas, and the Appalachian region as possible sites. In June, Lohr hired Copenhagen-based architectural firm Bajark Ingels Group to design the city Sleek renderings, imagine plenty of space for pedestrians to stroll in the lush metropolis and include images of planes and other aircrafts that appear to be from Archer Aviation, the electric air taxi setup in which Lore is an investor. Wow, electric air taxi. She sounds like the Jetsons to me here, pimp. So that's, that's pretty interesting. So we're going for some futuristic... Yeah, Cyberpunk 2077 type shits. Yeah, in 40 years, what? It'll be 2061? <laughs> right. Another image on the site shows a skyscraper called Equitism Tower <laughs> that houses elevated water storage, aeroponic farms, and an energy producing roof. Aeroponic farms, huh? <laughs> wow. State of the art, huh? The streets prioritize bikes and pedestrians, according to the website, and slow-moving, self-driving cars share the street. Lor, who reportedly has a net worth of to $4 billion, founded Quidzy, a company that owned e-commerce sites, including diapers.com, and sold it to Amazon in 2010 for around $545 million. Wow, look at that. It's a lot of money. $545 million is a lot of money. He left Amazon after two years and founded Jet.com before selling it to Walmart in 2016, joining the retail giant as head of U.S. e-commerce. The chronic entrepreneur left the company earlier this year to pursue other projects that were unannounced at the time. He since bought a stake in the Minnesota Timberwolves and Lynx. And started a new venture capital firm with Alex Rodriguez called Vision Capital People. Wow, so this guy here is trying to make some moves up in this motherfucker. All right. I ain't mad at him, but this whole woke uh, city shit is fucking with me. But Lord's not the first mogul to try to build a utopian society. Sarah Moser, an associate professor of geography at Montreal's McGill University, put his chances of success at roughly zero. She identifies about 150 greenfield city building projects that are backed either by government or private interests. No one has hit his population targets, she told Business Week. So basically, she's saying that um, this sounds like a pie in the sky. Like, you know, like he has a lot of money. He has, he has a lot of ambition to do this, but... He has a zero chance of success. But just to say that he's trying to build a woke city called Telosa. His main building is going to be called Equitism Tower. And uh, yeah, this dude's basically going to be creating a woke city. 
here in about nine years. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Are you interested in Tolosa, the city of Tolosa that's about to be formed somewhere in the United States? Are you uh, excited to know that we'll be getting our first equitism tower in, the, in that city? You know, that he plans to have all these things going on. Like, it's going to look like basically the Jetsons. And then on top of that, you know, you got folks saying that he has uh, roughly a zero chance of success. But, nah, you never know and we'll get to see here in nine years, right? But like I say, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this shit in the comment section below. Please. Share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media, and I'm out. Peace.